Welcome to this module in which we'll talk about open source vulnerability scanners and we'll look, take a look at a walkthrough uh, for one of the most famous ones which is called OpenVAS, which actually is a fork from Nessus and when Nessus became commercial then uh, this organization, Greenbone Networks, um, it, they took on this project to make it uh, an open source project. They still support it and the background is that it's, it uses some of the same technology as Nessus. So uh, let's take a look at OpenVAS. There's also a live demo, excellent news. There's a live demo, you can log in and uh, type live demo and live demo for um, login and password. And you can take a look at the demo that I'm showing you on your own computer as well. So this is the dashboard view and the dashboard view will give you the icons on the top which say scans, assets, uh, security info, configuration, extras and help. And the dashboard view is showing the results by severity, high, medium, low, and showing colors, so red for the uh, high ones. And it's also showing us CVEs by creation time, the total number of CVEs that are out there. And this is the overall dashboard or the front screen. Now, when you click on the scans uh, icon, it creates a drop-down menu and you can look at the dashboard. You can look at tasks, reports, results, notes, and overrides as well. So, and right now I have the scan dashboard and it's showing me the graphic for the overall vulnerabilities and how many were high, medium, low, and were logs. So if you click on the asset dashboard, then you see the listing of the assets and you can also see the color scheme here and it's showing you which assets were uh, vulnerable and which ones were not and what was the criticality level of those assets and here is showing you under IP address. And if you look at uh, the operating system by vulnerability score icon, then a uh, drop down icon, then it's showing you the vulnerabilities here and it's showing you also the color of coding related to the vulnerability, which ones were high, which ones were medium, and which ones were low. And it's also showing you that how many systems or hosts were affected by each vulnerability. And that's on the x-axis. So if you go back to now the assets uh, menu, you can look at the assets by classic host view. And now this is showing me the entire list of assets by IP address. And on each asset, how many high vulnerabilities were there, how many were medium, uh, when was the last report generated? How many ports were detected? And what's the overall rating of the asset? If you go to configuration and targets, then you can see that uh, here the targets were central web servers, the DMZ, the printers, and Windows desktops. And it's showing you the host IP addresses and uh, how many IPs are under the target. So targets is like a grouping uh, which you can create. Now this is the OpenVAS architecture. There's uh, the CLI and the Greenbone Security Assistant, which are clients. And then you have the internal services engines, which are the OpenVAS scanner and the OpenVAS manager. And then you have the, um, the NVTs, uh, which are the network vulnerability test reports, tests actually, the network vulnerability tests. And then you have results and configs also. So there are approximately 50,000 network vulnerability tests or NVTs which are available with OpenVAS. So OpenVAS is a simple, free, open source vulnerability assessment scanner. It's very easy to use. Uh, it has a free demo version, which is online, just so you can get the feel. And you can download the virtual image and run it um, as a virtual image. It has source code documentation, virtual images for download, and mailing lists on its website, and it's quite well supported as well. So you should definitely use this. And since it's free, there's no cost. Um, so it's a very good tool to have in the uh, security professionals toolkit. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.